When you start talking about national parks and what makes them special, you can pick anyone in the country. There's always a few things that stand out. And when you come to the Smokies and you see these beautiful mountains, you see bears, salamanders, and when you get in our streams, you'll see fish too, a real diverse spawn of fish. And you know, there's nothing quite as cool than that jewel we call the Southern Appalachian Brook Trout. Part of the fabric of these mountains, um, just like all the other species that live here. And so those fish are special in the sense that they've been here for millions of years. They're fun to go explore where they're at because typically they're found in these mid to high elevation places that are uh, fairly remote, not many people get to see. You know, the males get these vivid colors in their fins, bright oranges and reds and really striking color patterns on their sides and they almost look surreal. But you know, there's not many places left in our southeastern United States you can find them. And uh, the Great Smoky Mountains is one of the last strongholds. Along with, say, Western North Carolina, we probably have the largest populations of Southern Appalachian brook trout anywhere in the world. You know, one time before the park was established, before European settlers really got here and, and uh, settled these areas, you know, brook trout were the only native trout species found in these mountains. But, you know, they're not there because they've been pushed out. They've been eliminated from a lot of those places through logging and non-native fish species. But these mountains have been healing for decades, and now we're just getting to the point where there is a lot of opportunity. It's really a neat time to be working in the field of uh, fisheries and fish restoration. And, uh, and we're trying to do our part here in the park with our species. Yeah, okay. Nice healthy brook trout. The mission of the National Park is to protect and preserve our native species. And it's something the Park Service takes very serious. Southern Appalachian brook trout have been extirpated or removed from 75% of the range here in the park alone. And so today we went over to uh, North Carolina on the upper Little Tennessee River system, um, part of this same watershed, and collected about 300 plus or minus uh, brook trout. And uh, carry those fish out, put them in a truck, and truck them over here to uh, Anthony Creek, and uh, carry them up in here and put them in throughout the uh, restored stream section. That's significant in the sense that brook trout used to be throughout the headwaters of this, this Abrams Creek watershed. However, they've all been extirpated or eliminated. And so um, that was the first time probably that brook trout have been here probably since the 1950s or 60s. And so it's pretty cool to be able to put those fish back, um, be able to provide that opportunity for people to come in here and see those, uh, future generations to come in here and catch those. It's another part of this ecosystem that we're able to put back to what it used to be and allow this ecosystem to kind of get back on track. Every little bit counts in terms of cleaning these ecosystems up. And so, um, you know, the Smokies is a, mostly a headwater park. And we feed the Little Tennessee system, the Pigeon River system, um, Little River system. And so uh, we have to be good stewards of that and make sure that we're doing everything we can to pass it on as good or better than we found it. And uh, hopefully over time, our neighbors are doing the same thing. And over time, the whole ecosystem improves downstream, little by little by little.